Hey guys, it's Tammy and I have a Walmart haul here for you. Um, this was a $65 haul and I went to the store, of course, just like everyone else for like two items, right? <laughs> and then I ended up getting, uh, I just figured it was a really good day to stock up, get like some pantry items. So I just wanted to show you some of the things I stocked up on. So we will just start over here. I got a four pack of ravioli. Um, these are like four something. I don't know the exact price, but they're just cheaper if you get them in the four pack than if you get them one individually. And then I got, these are my favorite uh, ramen noodles. They're the gourmet spicy and they are so good. This is a four pack. And usually what I do is I saute mushrooms and like zucchini. There's three zucchini in this bag. I usually use like half of one per meal for just myself. And then um, I saute those in like soy sauce and then add them right on top of the, after I just cook per directions on the package. Um, and then if you have like leftover meat, you can put that in there too. I got two packs of the Thick and Creamy. This is the Great Value brand. I actually love this brand, it's really good. Um, and then I stocked up on some pasta just because I hadn't bought these in a while. This is the angel hair. I have angel hair. One pack of linguine. Three packs of spaghetti. The other two are back here. And then I tried this for the first time. This is, they have these ones called half length. So they're already cut for you. I've never bought these before. Um, I also got lemon. I like to put lemon as well into my ramen or other soups. So like fresh lemon. I always buy fresh lemon all the time. I have bottled lemon juice. I have, I just love lemon. Um, and then I got five packs of sardines and oil. And this is great value brand as well. And then I got a bag of kettle corn because we were actually going out tonight to a hockey game and I was hoping you could bring some food into this uh, hockey arena so to make it cheaper, but apparently you can't. So I'll just be snacking on that at home. And I bought some, this was just on the discount bakery shelf for $2.72 and it's sliced Hawaiian bread and they're really thick pieces. It's a really big loaf of bread, so I thought I'd get that. And it's been a while since I've just gotten like plain, like a big jar of like regular plain creamy peanut butter. So I got some of that too. I got peanut butter recently. Um, it was on sale for like a dollar or two, but it was like coconut peanut butter. So I thought I'd get some plain. My husband loves putting almonds in his lunch. We put, like portion these out. Um, I usually get them in bulk at Winco because it's five something a pound, but this was also five something a pound. It might've been 5.98, but. And then I don't really need flour, <laughs> but I feel like every prepper, when you go to the store, don't you just feel like you have to get flour because you can go through this five pound bag so fast. I got the unbleached. And then as far as refrigerator items or dairy, I got coffee creamer. This is the cheapest way to get creamer because it's 64 ounces and it's less than five bucks. Even the Walmart brand of the like smaller bottles are like 268 for uh, half the size. So if you get the big one, it lasts forever. And then just cause we want to do some healthy lunch snacks. So we snack on things like nuts, fruit, we like to get yogurt. This is the Light Greek from Great Value. It's just basically the same thing as Light and Fit. And then my husband already opened his. His is a strawberry. I like the vanilla. And then I got some argarine. We were just out. So that is my haul. Of course, we all know $65 goes really fast. I don't really need meat at my house because we have meat in the freezer. So I just wanted mostly like pantry items um, things like that you can eat in emergency that you don't need to heat up. You could just eat right out of the can, like the ravioli. And then, um, this for me is like comfort food. So it's really cold here in Washington this weekend. So I figured this would be a good weekend to have ramen. So this is my haul. And if you guys have any questions about it or you want to comment down below, I'll see you guys in the next video.